Hi all, today I'm going to do a video review on my Apple Mac Mini that I've had for the past couple of weeks now. Um, first of all, I'm going to start with the exterior of the unit itself. I missed a couple of things during my first uh, unboxing video, sorry about that. I'll go through some of this, those stuff again now. Um, first of all, this, uh, the Autobot logo there, that's not the Apple logo, so put it there because I like Transformers. Um, anyway, the this is a couple, couple of ports that I missed before. So this is the mini display port and this is the mini DVI port and that is the FireWire 800 port um, together with the package uh, included you will get a mini DVI port to a DVI uh, port connector so you can connect your DVI cable which is not included in the package to your moni DVI capable monitor so you connect this little end here to just like so like that and then that connects to your monitor. And a couple more things. This one I'm going through by manual. I haven't um, actually seen this um, by myself, by my very own eyes. Um, the two, uh, this one has um, two uh, uh, airport antenna, the capable for wireless N. Apparently they're located on both sides there, left and right. And there's a Bluetooth 2.1 receiver, which is somewhere there. Um, according to the diagram in the manual and this is the um, slot for the super drive and this is the infrared receiver to be used for things like I Apple remote and all that I haven't used that functionality yet I'm thinking about getting an Apple remote but not now um, this is uh, this little thing here I hope you can see in the video a uh, little dot there that's actually for the power uh, light indicator uh, comparing against um, normal uh, the usual PCs out in the market there. This one doesn't have uh, the two things. One for the hard drive indicator light, no such thing. And another one is for the uh, DVD indicator light that shows whether the DVD is uh, running, reading data and all that. No, it, is, it isn't in, in here. And um, Okay, so that's the, the steer of the Mac Mini itself. Okay, now I've um, put my Mac Mini back to the um, cabinet um, um, below my TV. I'm going to switch it on and show you the power button there at the back. There, press it. Okay. Okay, now i got my Mac Mini fired up. Um, before I proceed, I thought... Uh, point that out that uh, I've already obviously set up all the, um, the done the initial setup I mean for the Mac mini uh, Mac OS itself um, the setup itself it was relatively quicker compared to when I got my uh, Windows XP based laptop a couple of years ago the um, I don't know how the Windows 7 is performing now but uh, compared to XP the initial setup was faster for the Mac OS um, it, it asks you the same standard questions, obviously, for you know setting up your internet connection, your LAN network, your email address, um, also the Apple user account if you want to set up uh, one at that very moment, and then set up your wireless connection to, and set up your time zone and all that. All in all, the process was relatively relatively quick. I think it took me about 10 minutes to complete, including processing time as well. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, okay, so getting uh, to the software itself, I thought I'm going to do this um, by comparing against uh, Windows-based computers since I am a Windows user. This is my first um, Apple product um, that I have. So there are a couple of uh, f fundamental differences in terms of um, user interface um, com between Mac OS and the Windows computer. I have Windows Vista and XP right now. So let's get to that. Um, first of all, I'm just going to show you the standard products that it has. Um, just on the down the application here, um, as you can see here, the um, couple of um, usable stuff like uh, the DVD player there, so it's, uh, to, uh, just to play all the um, DVD that you have. So it's standard, which is pretty good. Um, going back to the application there again, we have QuickTime Player and it has uh, iTunes as well as iMovie and iPhotos to uh, edit your movies and stuff. And it also has the um, Time Machine utilities, so if you have Airport um, Extreme thing and, and you can connect your storage devices there and, uh, and to 
to the time capsule. Sorry. Um, okay, and another good product there that I uh, ha noticed here is Front Row. Uh, Front Row is the media center application. Just like Windows Vista Ultimate comes with uh, Windows Media Center, this one has um, a front row, which is pretty good. Uh, movies, TV shows, and music, podcasts, photos, you know. So if you go to, um, say, for example, iTunes, and it connects to the internet and gives you the the top episodes that it has. So it gives you all these um, um, graphics there, which is pretty good. And anyway, going back to the... Um, Mac itself. Um, the first difference. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is take for example if I open um, uh, Safari browser there. The difference between this and um, say Windows. If you if you close the um, bring the camera closer here. There. you close the window, it actually closes just the window itself. Uh, in order for you to actually close the whole Safari program, you need to go there, Safari, and then you actually need to go quit Safari. So it's rather different than um, Windows. Um,